Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today's topic that we will discuss is axilla. First, let's define what axilla is so that you know what it is. In layman terms, it is also called the armpit and it is defined as the space located between the upper part of the chest and your arm. Now, this is a pyramidal shaped space. It resembles the shape of a pyramid. It has an apex, it has a base that is just below the pyramid it has four walls so for the ease of understanding the shape of the axilla i have used a paper and made it out in, into a pyramidal shape so as you can see inside it is basically a space so the axilla has an apex just like the pyramid it has a base which is wider than the apex then it has four walls so the apex is directed upwards and medially the four walls are obviously the anterior wall facing the front, the medial wall that is facing the ribs and the sternum, and then we have the lateral wall that is facing the humerus, and finally the posterior wall that is obviously close to the scapula. So that is a basic understanding of axillary space and the shape of it. Let's begin with talking about the apex. This is basically the area we are talking about. So in the anterior part of the apex, the boundary is made up of posterior surface of the clavicle. Posteriorly is the bone we studied in the shoulder girdle with the clavicle is the scapula or you can say the superior border of the scapula. And medially lies the outer border of the first rib. Moving on, let's talk about the base. The base boundaries are pretty simple. The base is basically the skin that you can see under your armpit. So the base is made up of skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia is known as the axillary fascia in the axilla. Now let's talk about the walls, the four walls of the axilla. First we have the anterior wall. The boundaries of the anterior wall are the pect major muscle because that makes up most of the anterior chest wall. And deep to that is the pect minor muscle. And then the deep fascia of this area, which is also known as the clavi pectoral fascia, which we will talk about in another video. So that is the relation of the anterior wall. Moving on, let's talk about the posterior wall. So posteriorly, we have the muscles covering the costal surface of the scapula. And these muscles are the subscapularis and teres major and the latissimus dorsi that was passing from the inferior angle of the scapula. Let's move on and talk about the lateral wall. Lateral wall which is facing the humerus or the arm. So the lateral wall is obviously going to be made up of the muscles of humerus. So these are the coracobrachialis and short head of biceps. Moving on, the medial wall of the axilla is formed by the upper four ribs and the muscle that is attached to the ribs, this is known as the serratus anterior muscle. However, the upper part of this muscle as serratus anterior is originating from the first one to eight ribs. So in the upper four ribs, only the upper part of the serratus anterior is seen. So this was all about the boundaries of the axilla. Moving on, let's talk about the contents of axilla. Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, always remember that the first content in most of the places or the filling content is the fat. So axillary fat is one of the contents. Now it's pretty obvious that the vessels in the axilla are probably named after it. Hence, there is the axillary artery that we'll talk about soon and the axillary vein, the vein and the artery. Apart from this, there is a nerve trunk kept in the axilla. This is the infraclavicular part of the brachial plexus. What is the brachial plexus? It is basically a bundle of nerves that supply what? The brachii part of the body, also known as the arm. So this is a plexus of nerves that is going towards the arm. And obviously, to enter the arm, you have to pass through the axilla. So brachial plexus is a plexus of nerves that is going towards the arm and obviously to enter the arm it is necessary that it crosses the axilla. And number five we have the axillary lymph nodes that we studied in the breast. And six we have the long thoracic nerve 
this was the nerve that supplied the serratus anterior along with this there is an another nerve called the intercostal brachial nerve it also supplies the upper part of the arm so that was all about the contents of axilla